Hi all, welcome to new class. Today's class is about synchronous counters. A synchronous counters are serial counters. Whereas synchronous counters are called parallel counters. And asynchronous counters are slow because each flip-flop can change state only if all the preceding flip-flops have changed their state. And the propagation delay, propagation delay is high. Propagation delay is high in the case of asynchronous counters. And the synchronous counters are counters in which all the flip-flops are triggered simultaneously. That is triggered parallel by the clock input pulses. So whether a flip-flop toggles or not depends on the flip-flop input. The synchronous counters are triggered simultaneously. So, in synchronous counters, all the flip-flops change state simultaneously in, synchroniz in synchronization with the clock pulse. The propagation delays of flip-flops do not add together to produce the overall delay. So, here the propagation delay is less. So, propagation delay is less in the case of synchronous counters. The synchronous counters have the advantage of high speed and less severe decoding problems. So, it is faster than asynchronous counters. But they have one disadvantage that is Synchronous counters have more circuitry than that of asynchronous counters. Let us study about the 4-bit synchronous up counter. So, in synchronous counter, the clock signal is applied to all the flip-flops simultaneously. And the 4-bit up counter counts in the order 0000. Then 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, etc. 1, 1, 1, 1. Then again 0, 0, 0, 0, like that. We can write the counting sequence like this. That is, after the clock pulse, here the state of counter that is q4 q3 q2 and q1 since there are four flip-flops to count the four bit up counter so this is the first state that is all the flip-flops are in reset mode 0, 0, 0, 0001 so after the first clock pulse it will be 0, 0, 0, 0001 after second clock pulse 0, 0, 0010 0, like that so this is the counting sequence for this 4-bit synchronous up counter. Now we can draw the logic diagram. So observing the up counting sequence, we can conclude that this Q1 changes state for every clock pulse. So this is the first flip-flop, second, then third, fourth and here the clock signal is given simultaneously so we can give the clock input simultaneously so this is the clock signal And for the first flip-flop, 
that is here this q1 changes that is q1 toggles for every clock pulse so first flip flop should be in toggle mode that is this j k should be 1 and here this q2 q2 changes state whenever this q1 is 1 that is whenever the q1 is 1 q2 toggles so this j2 and k2 should be connected to q1 so when this q1 is 1 this flip flop changes that is this flip flop toggles and here q3 this q3 changes whenever both q1 and q2 are equal to 1 that means the third flip flop toggles whenever q1 and q2 are equal to 1 so this j3 and k3 should be connected to q2 q1 that is for that we should connect an AND gate here and Q2 and Q1 are the inputs to this AND gate so whenever this Q2 Q1 is 1 the third flip-flop toggles so the Q4 changes when Q3 q2 and q1 are equal to 1 that is the fourth flip-flop toggles whenever q1 q2 q3 equal to 1 so we can connect this j4 and k4 input to an and gate whose inputs are this q3 and q2 q1 so we can connect this output to the input of this and gate so this is the logic diagram for the 4 bit synchronous up counter next is 4 bit synchronous down counter a 4 bit synchronous down counter counts in the order 0 0 0 0 then 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 etc 0 0 0 0, 0. again 1 1 1 1 like that so let us write the counting sequence so this is after clock pulse and second one is state of counter that is q4 q3 q2 and q1 are the outputs of the four flip-flops so this is the first state of the flip-flop that is in reset mode then after first clock pulse the output will be 1 1 1 1 then second 1 1 1 0 then after third 1 1 0 1 like that so this is the counting sequence for the 4 bit synchronous down counter that is 0 then 1 1 1 1 like that after the 15th clock pulse it will be 0 0 0 1 after 16th clock pulse it will be 0 0 0 0 after 17th 1 1 1 1 now let us draw the logic diagram so here jk flip-flop is used and in synchronous counters the clock input is given simultaneously so this is the clock signal and it is given simultaneously like this now observing the counting sequence the q1 changes 
for each clock pulse that is flip flop one that is the first flip flop should be in toggle mode for that jk input should be given to one so it will be in toggle mode and this q2 q2 changes when q1 is zero so when q1 is zero q2 changes its state or we can say that this q2 changes when q1 bar is one or q1 is zero so when q1 is zero or q1 bar is equal to one q2 toggles so for that this j k input should be given to this q1 bar output so when q1 bar is one this q2 changes next is q3 so this q3 changes when both q2 and q1 are equal to zero or we can say when q2 bar and q1 bar are equal to one q3 changes that is q3 changes when q1 q2 equal to zero or q1 bar and q2 bar equal to one so for that j3 and k3 should be given to this q2 bar and q1 bar so and gate inputs are q2 bar and q1 bar and the output is given to this j3 k3 so this flip flop toggles when q2 bar q1 bar equal to 1 and next is q4 so this q4 changes when q3 q2 and q1 are equal to 0 or we can say when q3 bar q2 bar q1 bar are equal to 1 this q4 changes so for the fourth flip flop the jk inputs are given to the output of and gate whose inputs are q3 bar and q2 bar q1 bar so for that we can take from here so this is the logic diagram for four bit synchronous down counter next is four bit synchronous up or down that is bidirectional counter so here this four bit synchronous up or down counter can be obtained by combining the up counting and down counting operations in a single counter using control or mode signal so here the counter count up so the counter count up when mode signal m is equal to 1 and the counter counts down when m is equal to 0 here j1 k1 is 1 so this is first flip flop second flip flop then third flip flop fourth flip flop j1 k1 is equal to 1 and j2 k2 j2 k2 is equal to q1 m plus q1 bar m bar j3 k3 is equal to q1 q2 m plus q1 bar q2 bar m bar and j4 k4 is equal to j equal to j1 equal to k1 equal to 1 and j4 equal to k4 equal to q1 q2 q3 m plus q1 bar q2 bar q3 bar m bar 
that is when m is equal to 1 this AND gate will be out, output will be 0 so this whenever this q1 is 1 that is whenever this jk flip-flop toggles it will be in the up counting sequence and when m is equal to 0 so this AND gate will work so we will get the down counting sequence thank you for watching the class if you like the classes please like share and subscribe my channel